Hi students, welcome to your math lesson of the day. Um, we are in chapter 2.3 in your Big Ideas Math Book, but before we begin our um, chapter book, let's go over the day of the week. So today is the day we've been waiting for. Today is Friday, woo, Friday. And what month is it? What month is it? Halloween. And it's the only month that begins with the letter O. October. We are in the month of October. And the day of the month is October 9th. And we are in the year 2020. Now, let's figure out how we can write this date into numbers okay so this is the date in words but we're going to try to write this date in number form okay so usually when, pe when people write the date in number form they include um the month so what number the month is the day and the year okay so there's 12 months of the year and we're in the month of October. So let's count aloud. I'm gonna say the months of the year, but we are gonna hold our fingers while we're saying the name of the month. So let's go. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. I counted 10 fingers. So we are in the 10th month, okay? So 10, yeah, people usually put dashes or they write it like this way or with slashes. And then I said, I mentioned earlier, there's 31 days in October. But like I said earlier, we are on October 9th. And then we are in, year, in the year 2020. Like I've noticed people have put the full year or sometimes people just put the last two digits of the year. So those are two ways you can write the date in number form, okay? So we include the month, the day, and the year. But I noticed, it, I noticed in some countries when I studied abroad in, the, uh, in London, um, they put the day first and from the year. But we are in America, so put the month, day, and year. <laughs> okay. Now... I'm going to erase the date. We are going to dive in into our number counting activity. <clears throat> the last math lesson, we counted to 60. I think we can count to 70. What do you guys think? Well, we are going to do it. We're going to count to 70 today, okay? So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. We're almost there, guys. How many more to 70? 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. We did it. Woo! I knew we could. 70. 
We counted to 70, guys. Yeah, we're almost, we're very close to counting to 100. That's so exciting. So again, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Woo! We did awesome. Good job, guys. Okay. Now we're going to move, dive into lesson 2.3 in your big ideas math book. Now I'm going to We've been learning about, you know, adding and subtracting with zero, but we're going to practice with learning um, about adding and subtraction from the number one today, okay? So, in your textbooks, you see, you, be, you see both problems with a photo and just with numbers. So, I'm going to show you examples of how um, we can solve it with a photo first, okay? So, I'm going to do my little frog example, okay? I'm going to say there is five frogs. I know that it looks like circles, but trust me, they're, fo they're frogs. <laughs> There's four frogs in the pond. And since it's the beginning of the day, one is coming to the pond. So I'm going to put this little guy out here. He's like, hi, I'm coming. Woo. I'm coming to join. He's coming to the pond. So remember what I said, subtraction, we're taking away. And in addition, we're getting more. We're putting things together. And we're getting a new little frog to join the frogs in the pond. So we have one, two, three, four. We have four frogs in the pond. And we're having this guy, which is one, to join us. So we're going to use the plus sign since we're putting things together. And then four plus one, okay? Now we can do this in several ways. We can count one, two, three, four, five. We have five. You can use number counting or we can use the number line. So you can solve it in multiple ways. Okay, now, now this guy is leaving. Like he had a long day at the pond. He's like, I need to go home. I'm so exhausted. I need to take a nap. So he's leaving. Aw. He's leaving the pond party. So remember, subtraction, we are taking away one, okay? We're taking away in subtraction. So this guy's leaving the pond party. So four minus one is not going to be five anymore. No, it's not. And do you see in the sub, sub, uh, subtraction equation that four is bigger than one, okay? Remember, always put your bigger number first, okay? Put the bigger guy here first. Bigger. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. So four minus one is what? So we had one, two, three, four. Oh no, all of them went away. So remember, we had a fifth one to come, but now he's leaving. So we're going to take him away. Bye bye. He went away. So how many do we have left? So we don't even need four anymore because we had five. Because remember, we had one in the previous problem, one came to join the party, the pawn party. So the five is the total, one, two, three, four, five. But then he had to go home to take a nap because he was super exhausted. So four, and, and only one left, so that's why we put the number one, okay? So how many do we have left? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. Five minus one is four, okay? Okay. Awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed that frog example. Now we're going to focus on a problem that um, doesn't have a photo in the problem. So 
So we are going to do a addition of problem from your textbook. So you see a problem like 9 plus 1 equals what? Now we can do this problem several ways. We can number count. We can use, I like the number line too. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay? So I like to put it where the bigger number is because that means we have less work to do because if we put it in one, we have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Like that's a lot of work to do. So I'm going to erase that. So on the number line, I like to put the bigger number on the number line because it's less um, moving in the work. But we're just going up one. So nine plus one. So we're just going up one. And here we are. We are on number 10. We made it to 10. Nine plus one equals 10. Because remember, when we're adding something, we are going away from the number or not farther from zero because we are gaining more numbers. But if it's minus, we usually go this way to zero. So we're counting back if we're minus and counting forward if it's plus. Because in plus, we're putting more things together. So we're going to go this way if we're adding. And if we're minusing, we're going to go down this way because we're losing some. And you can even think about it like plus is more like this way and minus is more like that way. Because when we're adding stuff, we're going this way. And then we're losing stuff, we're going this way. Yeah. Okay. So that's just one example without using photos. Okay, I'm going to erase this. Do, 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 do. There we go. <laughs> now let's try one using subtraction. Let's just um, spice it up. So we're going to use minus sign this time, okay? So remember what I said. When we're losing stuff, we're going towards zero. So we're going to start on nine. And then how many are we losing? We're just losing one. So we just go one. And then we land on number eight. So nine minus one equals eight. Okay. Now let's try. Oh, thought I had my eraser. <laughs> now let's try. Um, we're going to use the number line again. Awesome. I love the number line. <laughs> okay. So we are going to try a different way. So we're going to do three or no, let's do six minus one or and then we're going to do three plus one. OK, so for this problem, we are going to figure out which one of these questions has the bigger answer. OK, so. For this, pro for this one, I'm going to use a blue marker. For this one, I'm going to use a green. Okay? So the first one we're focus focusing on is 6 minus 1. So we put the bigger number in the problem here. And since we're minusing, we're going towards 0 on the number line. But 6 minus 1, we're just going over 1. 5. 5 is the answer. 6 minus 1 equals 5. Okay? Now we're going to do, we're going to focus on this problem now. Three plus one equals what? So like I said, we're going to do, um, put the, put the dot on the bigger number on the number line because it's less work if we put the bigger number. So remember, in addition, we are going further away from zero because we're gaining more numbers. We, we are, we are increasing our number value. So three plus one. So we're just going to go over one. We got four. We just went over one and we landed on four. Three plus one equals four. Now, which one of these numbers is bigger? Which one has the bit which one has the greater value? Which one's further away from zero? It's gonna be this one. Six minus one equals five. Because five is further away. Four is closer to zero. See, like four is this way to zero, but five is further away. 
So the first problem has the greater difference. It has the greater answer. Let's try another example. Let's erase all my work. Okay. Let's see. We're going to try four plus one. We're going to do um, addition for that problem. And then we're going to do six minus one equals what? Okay. So for the first problem, we're going to do a, the blue marker for this problem and then the green marker for this one. Okay. So four plus one. So remember, we put our dot on the biggest number in the problem. And since we're adding things together, we're going further away from the zero. So we're just going to go over one because it's four plus one. We have five. Four plus one is five. Now for this one, six minus one. So we're going to put our, oh no, I messed up. <laughs> I meant to put this one for blue so you guys know that this is the, yeah, let me. Do, 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 do. So you know, like it's this answer. So four plus one, here we go again. We're gonna use the blue marker so we know it, we're talking about this first problem. So four, and then we're gonna go over one. So we're five. Four plus one equals five for this one, okay? Now we're gonna use the green marker for this problem. <laughs> now we're gonna start on six because it's the bigger number. And since we're subtracting, we're gonna go closer to the number zero because we're taking away our numbers. So we're gonna go backwards one. One, we are both on five. Now, which one has the greater sum and difference? Both of them are equal. They are equal. They have the same number value, so they're equal. No one has the greater than or less than because they both have the same number value. Okay, we'll have more practice on these later on, but let's um, do another uh, math problem, for example. So we're going to pretend, we're going to go back to our Skittles examples. I, so me, I have one, two, three, four Skittles. I have four Skittles. And then my friend has one fewer red Skittle than I do. So if we erase, pretend to erase one, my friend has three red. So my friend has three red Skittles. Okay, I'm going to add my four back. <laughs> three. Okay. And then my other friend, he has green Skittles. Has um, one more than me. So he has one plus four. So we can pretend to add, we can count to four. One, two, three, four, and he has another one. So one, so we have one, two, three, four, five. So we are gonna try to figure out who has the most and who has the fewer. So let's try to order these um, to figure out who has the less, who has less and who has more um, Skittles. So I like to use my number line. So we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, okay? So I'm gonna do the dots of like, according to like me, friend, and friend. So for me, I'm blue, so I'm gonna put my dot on the four. My friend, my first friend has three, so I'm gonna give a three on red, or red on three. And then my other friend, he's green, so I'm gonna put five for where he is. So out of these colors, which one is further away from zero? It's the green. Which one is closer to zero? It's my first friend. He has three because he's closer to zero. Because if we count one, two, three, like that's closer than one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to order these from least to greatest. So who has the least? Well, my friend who has three because three is closer to zero. So I'm going to put 
friend one. That's the first one, okay? Now, who has, like, the second least? Me. I'm going to put me for blue. And then the, who has the greater? Who has more? Friend two has more because he has five. Okay? So that's one way to figure out, to break down, you know, problems that um, says, like, oh, who has more, who has less. I like to write it all down and just... Um, um, write it as a picture because it's easier for me to understand but everyone has a different learning style so um, it's up to you of how you want to approach problems like this but I'm happy to help if you have additional questions on this and I hope you guys enjoy this math lesson of the day and I'll see you guys next time